An arrest warrant has been issued for former Governor Larry Hogan's chief of staff after he fails to show up for trial. That's right. Roy McGrath was scheduled to appear in federal court this morning for his fraud trial. Fox 45's Mackenzie Frost was in court this morning and joins us live with more on what's going on. Mackenzie, does anyone know where he is? No, Kai, nobody knows where he is right now. Roy McGrath's attorney says he actually has no clue where he could be right now. I actually just got off the phone with some law enforcement agencies down in Florida. They tell me that sheriff's deputies went to Roy McGrath's home in Naples just before 1030 this morning to do a welfare check, but McGrath was not there. Now, his attorney, Joe Murtha, spoke with some reporters outside the federal courthouse earlier today, and he says that he spoke with McGrath on the phone last night and was given no indication that there was anything wrong. We had a very engaged conversation regarding what was going to be happening today and a variety of issues that we have been discussing over time. And I sensed nothing that would cause me concern about Roy's plans for today. Now, Murtha says that McGrath was expected to get on a plane down in Florida and travel to Baltimore last night and meet him about 845 this morning before that trial was scheduled to begin in downtown Baltimore. Now, according to the federal indictment, McGrath is accused of stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars while he was working as the head of the quasi-state agency, the Maryland Environmental Service. McGrath is also accused of illegally recording conversations that he had with other members of former Governor Larry Hogan's inner circle during this time as he was becoming the chief of staff. Now, again, the jury was dismissed around 11 o'clock this morning because that two week trial was scheduled to begin at nine o'clock today, and it's unclear what happens next. Most importantly, I'm concerned about Roy. Uh, I hope that he's safe. I know that these situations are very stressful. The uncertainty of going to trial can cause people to do things that we may not believe are appropriate. But uh, most importantly, I hope that he's safe. Now, as part of the pretrial release, McGrath was ordered to give up his passport. If he is arrested, he is expected to be brought back to Baltimore for trial. We're live in the newsroom, Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News.